let's take a look at a more advanced filtering system. Advanced filters allow you to type in a criteria and work your filters according to that criteria. So we need to have an area of the worksheet that we can put the criteria in. The most obvious place for this is actually above the data, but it doesn't have to be there. It can be anywhere in the worksheet. I'm going to create a space above my data. Let's go to insert some rows. Often when this is explained, people say create three blank rows above. You don't need to create three. What you need to do is create enough space for you to have a row of titles and some rows for your criteria and at least one blank row between your criteria range and the data. The next step is just to select your titling, copy and paste them into the top row. You don't need to use copy and paste, you could type these titles in, but just make sure you type them in in exactly the same text as the ones in the real data. And we just use this area underneath this criteria title to put in our criteria for the filter. Let us just look for England as the country. So we put that in the criteria range. Let's build up the actual filter now and we do that by making sure that we have one cell selected on the cell range. Now this isn't essential, it just makes this next step a little bit easier. Right, so we're ready to start. Make sure we've got the data tab selected, the sort and filter section, and then we use the advanced button. That brings up the advanced filter dialog box, and basically we use this to dial up our filter. The first option is where do we want the results of the filter to be? Do we want the results to be left in place where they are now, or we can actually copy the results to another location? So I'm going to leave this filter in place to start with. The next thing is to choose the data range, the list of data. Now you can see it's picked up already A6 to D86. It's picked that up because I had a selection on that data range. If I hadn't had my selection cell there, then I would have to manually dial up that list range. The next step is the criteria range, this range here. Now this is quite critical. You have to make sure that you select the titles and the number of rows that have the criteria in. So I need to select cells A1 to D2. We select OK. Now what has happened? Excel has taken this information and filtered the data according to that criteria. So we've just got the England information. Now this isn't live, so if I change that criteria to France, nothing happens. What I need to do is click on the data again, go back to the filter, advanced, just quick check through that all this information is right, it should be, list range, yes, criteria range A1 to D2, yes, and click on OK. So it's re-filtered, so that's a really quick way of doing your filtering. If we don't want to filter for France, but we do want to filter for April, then we simply do that typing, click on the data range, click advanced, quick check, yes, OK, and there's the data for April. You can also combine, so you could look for uh, data in April, but just in Spain, for example. Type in your criteria, click on the data, data tab, sort and filter, advanced filter, just check that the list range and criteria range is correct. If it is, click OK, and there's your filtered data. Once we've done a filter, we can clear it using data, sort and filter, clear, and that clears the filter to bring us back to our original data. We can also be a little bit more inventive with our filtering. For example, in the sales, if you want to find all the sales that are greater than 1, or 1.5. Then we can put that uh, into the criteria range, click on the data, data tab, sort and filter, advanced, filter in place, check the list range A6 to D86, yes, check the criteria range A1 to D1 to D2, yes that's right because I've just got that one bit of data in, 
click OK. And we've now filtered in place for all the cells greater than 1.5. We can expand things even further and do a search with an OR, for example. If we want to add an OR line to this, we simply use the next row down. I'm going to put in the country, England. So what's going to happen now when we run the filter, it's going to show us all the records that have sales of greater than 1.5 and it will also show all the records that are for England regardless of the sales level. Select the data, data, sort and filter, advanced, filter in place, list range A6 to D86, that's correct, criteria range. Now we just have to make sure that we're picking up both those rows of data to D3. Click on OK. I'm now picking up England with a sale of less than 1.5 because I'm just saying England there. So I've got everything greater than 1.5 and the records that are just for England. This is why we can use advanced filters. We can build up a more complex picture. If I just delete England a second and show you one of the dangers that we've got. If I just run, want to run this filter now, click on the data, data, sort and filter, advanced, filter in place, list range A6 to D86, criteria range A1 to D3, click on OK. Now you'll be able to see there that I'm asking to filter over 1.5, but I'm drawing things that are less than 1.5. Why could that be? Let me just show you the advanced dialog box again. And think more carefully this time. Filter in place, yes. List range A6 to D86, that's the full data, yes. Criteria range A1 to D3, let's just have a look at that. A1, yes, to D3. Can you see that bottom row is blank? But the computer can't treat it as blank, it can't ignore it, it's got to use it. So it's bringing back all the records that are greater than 1.5 and all the records without a filter so it will show every single record so you do have to be careful just to make sure that in the criteria range you select the titles and just the right number of rows that contains data and now that's now correct only figures greater than 1.5 we can now look at um, copying the information elsewhere. Let's find all the records for Spain. So I've put my criteria in, click on the data, select data, sort and filter, advanced. This time we're going to copy to another location. The list range is A6 to D86, that's still correct. Criteria range, let's just make sure that we're just picking up A1 to D2. Yes. Now where can I copy this information to? Just got to click on the drop down box and I'm going to put it down here in cell, we'll start it in cell A120. That's where I want the copied data to go to. Expand that up again, click on OK. And you can see what's happened. So I've got at the bottom here my filtered data for records just in Spain. So it's copied that information to a new location. What I'm going to do this time is just have okay C120 let's remember that now, go to run the filter again select the data data sort and filter advanced list copy to another location there's my data criteria range A1 to D2 this time copy to what I'm going to do is select that title that I put down here I'm going to click on C120 expand that up Click on OK. Scroll down to see 120. And you can see what happened there is because we used the, just one title there, it's only brought out the Spain data. Just the information I was looking for. Let's see if we can expand that one more. I've just brought down the title there for the country and the sales. So if we want to find the values uh, for sales in Germany, put that into my criteria range. Click on the data. Select the data tab. Sort and filter, advanced, copy to another location, list range A686, correct, criteria range A1 to D2, correct, copy to, I'm going to select now C20 and D120, 
those two titles, expand that up, click on OK. It's copied those records to show me just the sales in Germany.